All right, guys. So y'all know the best player in the world, arguably, but everyone kind of agrees is currently Zen. But there is one guy that people may argue could compete with his level of skill and mechanics. You guys have probably seen videos or clips of him already, and that is Dark. The guy who pogos and not only pogos but who might be the most consistently mechanical player in rocket league right now we are going to watch some highlight reels from zen and some highlight reels from dark and compare and contrast we're gonna see if dark has a future in rlcs possibly and we're gonna see what peak mechanic looks like in both categories you know like a pro player and then a guy who's kind of known as a freestyler and a pioneer of mechanics and we're gonna we're gonna see what the difference is I know which video I'm looking for, but there we go. My best 1v1 clips. Now, this already has a million views, and this was posted by Zen himself, all right? Now, these this is a show match clip as well, and he actually has a ton of clips from his show matches. Now, one thing I've noticed about Zen... Oh, my God, dude. It's just, like, you can tell when he's, like, what he's going for, and you can also tell that he is able to execute it almost every single time. It's very rare that, you know, he goes up for a certain shot, and he's not able to execute it the way that he's looking for. Like, you can tell right here, cross map air dribble, probably going to go into a flip reset. A double flip re Oh, my God. Okay. I think we've all seen that clip. That one's just straight up impressive. A cross map starting from his own wall into a double flip reset air dribble donk to the top of the net. I mean, just impressive. It's one thing to hit these clips. It's a whole other ordeal to hit these types of clips against some of the best players in the world. And I think that's where that's where Zen and these clips are going to really stand out. Like, oh, my God. dude. Oh, my God. You know, and so far, I don't think we've seen a single clip that isn't in a massive like 1v1 tournament or show match here we go little that's an arsenal reset going down low another reset oh see and that's 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 so dirty too because once you get that reset the defender has to challenge or he has to be patient you know i i watch him in a lot of these show matches and i try to like emulate w the type of air dribbles that he does oh bro and, and, and like trying to emulate the the way that these guys do that type of air dribble it is it looks they make it look so easy it is so difficult to get every single touch as a perfect touch he uses a pre-flip to get underneath the ball and then he goes for a pogo shot like come on man and then that's the psycho i mean and again all of these clips have intention behind them i feel like some of them are probably plan b's where he you know you go up into the air and you're like ah you know i might go for a flip reset i'm not sure yet you get the flip reset you see the defender is not challenging so you go down to the ground with it but a lot of these clips are completely intentional all right let's see let's, let's watch this one so up into the air easy flip reset and see right there he notices the defender isn't challenging and he brings it down down low and i see that a lot in these like high level 1v1s is they'll just if, as soon as they get the flip reset they're not even watching the ball they're watching the defender if the defender challenges they don't use the flip reset if the defender sits in net then they use the flip reset because it's an easy goal another ground air dribble oh dude i love that i love that all right so when he pops the ball up here he is too far in front of the ball. And so instantaneously, he has air rolled his car backwards to where now he's going to face his car up. But the, that little adjustment where he turned his car backwards put him right where he needed to be. So now his car is facing up. He has 61 boost here. If he wanted to, he could easily continue the air dribble. But look, he sees AJ. AJ's sitting right there. He's not challenging at all. He sees that. And he's like, all right, if I go for the air dribble, I'm going to waste a lot of boost. And if AJ saves it, it could be a free net. So he brings it down low, goes for a pogo at the last second, and gets it around AJ. I mean, that type... Oh, and then he then he goes for the double. Like I feel like last RLCS season really put him at the top of the mark for me. Oh, my God. And then that's kind of his signature shot. The classic, oh, we, we gotta we gotta rewind that. Now, I wanna ask you guys, rewind the clock like five years and imagine someone hits a type of shot like this. So not only do you go from the ground with about 100 boosts, you pop the ball up, you get two touches to the ceiling. Oh no, three, four touches. And then he, he still has 38 boost here. You pinch the ball off the ceiling and, and only with 18 boosts, you're able to adjust your car 
and finish the double. So that is a ground air dribble to ceiling pinch to double touch. I mean, like some of these types of mechanics, I've you know you couldn't even fathom until until you see it, you know. And that's part of it. And, and not only that, but he's done that type of shot a lot. Like that's kind of his signature shot, the the air dribble to ceiling shot or to ceiling pinch to double touch. And again, they make it look easy. It's not easy. These types of, uh, of mechanics are incredibly difficult to get on a consistent basis. And we saw a little bit of his defense there. For those of you guys who are new to Rocket League, the first like two to three touches of an air dribble are, are what make or break an air dribble. If you get a really good first touch on your air dribble, oh my God, that was just... That was immaculate right there. I feel, I don't know how he got that much power, but like, that's just precision. Like, you know, there was zero room for error in that shot, but it's just incredible. But like, uh, the first two to three touches of an air dribble are, are pretty much what determines how good an air dribble is going to be. And and people like Zen and the pro players like that, they're just so good at consistently getting those massive air dribbles where they're able to, with honestly minimal boost, get the ball pretty much almost to the ceiling. Here's an example of a great first touch. These guys have absolutely perfected. So he's jumping off the wall to meet the ball. And that touch, see how perfect it is? It's not too hard to where it hits it like and it hits the ceiling, but it's soft enough to where he doesn't have to use a ton of boost. He had like 87. He he makes contact with the ball at 54. So about like, what, 23 boost and he's already on the ball with a flip reset. And then he didn't even use any boost there. And he got a second reset and then he can use the rest of his boost to get a little bit of a pinch. Like perfect example here with his uh, ground air dribble. All right, here we go. So that, that first touch... Not only does it propel the ball pretty high, like that first touch propelled the ball really, really high up into the air, but then his use of a double jump aerial and his air rolling, only using 30 boosts, and he's almost made contact with it. He makes his first contact with it with 58 boosts left. Gets like three more touches. Now he only has 27. I mean, honestly, that you want to say that he's not intentionally doing that because it does look a little bit like a plan B. Like, you know, he he wasn't he was just going up and seeing what happened, but it wasn't. He, he was on purpose doing that. It's just it's just really impressive, to be honest. But now let's compare that to Dark. Oh, uh, let, let's watch this uh, video by Fear. It's only six minutes long. Pretty much Dark, for those of you guys who haven't heard of him, he was really, really big. I would say like he kind of started getting big a year ago or so. And he kind of just got known for in these very high ranked level games going for pogo shots. Now, the pogo is a mechanic that got kind of some popularity eh, relatively recently in the Rocket League community. And what it is, is I'll give you an example right here, is this exactly. So he goes off the ground. And the reason why it's such an, an insane mechanic that people are very impressed at is there is very minimal room for error when you go for a shot like this. So number one, off the ceiling, gets a reset, and then that pogo right there. Not only is he landing on the corner, the front corner of his car, but the angle of his car isn't like this. It's not straight. It's a little bit tilted because his momentum is going forward. If he landed like this, his car would like have a weird bounce to it because he already has forward momentum. The fact that his car is at an angle when he bounces mean that the bounce is going to kind of go at the exact same angle, but in the opposite direction. So going for these types of pogos at a very, very, very high rank in 1v1 is super dangerous because if you mess up the opposite, of your opponent getting a quick counterattack and a free goal out of it is pretty high. So going for these types of shots is, is just super impressive, but also what Dark is known for is not only doing it, but being able to do it almost every single time and then also adding extra flip resets. So as you can see here, he gets the pogo. He fakes like he's going to go for a musty. But then instead of going for the musty, he fakes it and goes down low. Again, shout out to Fear and his YouTube channel. He does a lot of these awesome videos. You guys should definitely go subscribe to him. Another, see, and like, this is, a, this is a very high level ranked game as well. Like, this isn't a show match or anything, but this is a ranked game. But the fact that he, he goes for these crazy high level mechanic shots, a high level ranked situation is, is pretty impressive. He also is known for doing that kickoff right there. So what it is is a fake kickoff, but he, it's very convincing. From his opponent's point of view, it looks like he's going for this kickoff. Now, keep in mind, guys, that the highlights from Zen was, you know, over the course of a lot of different show matches. This is just one single game from Dark. And you can tell every time that he is going for a shot, it's some crazy high-level, like, 
flip reset, pogo, double touch, something crazy. Let's listen to Fee here. Uh, Dark's gameplay. He is a up and coming 14 year old. He's 14. He's region from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He is. So he's also from Saudi Arabia. It's crazy to me how many high level Rocket League players are coming out of Saudi Arabia, man. Okay. Top right, crossbar down. If I hit that shot in a ranked game, I'm posting it on all of my social media platforms. I, I, I'm hiring editors to like make montages out of it. That's ridiculous. Like the fat and like something special and is a perfect first touch followed by a reset where he delays using the flip in order to get a perfect first touch after that first touch look how close the ball is to his car he barely has to do anything else to keep it going if he wanted to he could go for an air dribble he has 44 boost he probably would score off of it instead he gets another reset and look at the power off of that second reset touch like that's just insane man okay uh someone in my chat is saying that dark is now 15 that does mean he is of age to play in rlcs does anybody know if dark has any interest in, in becoming a pro i mean he certainly wouldn't be the only mechanical player to come out of saudi arabia to go pro there's a lot of great saudi arabian teams as well that i'm sure would love to have him if, if he is at that level yet oh good bump now one thing that might stop it is that dark is kind of known for being a 1v1 main i don't think i've seen a lot of clips with him in a 3v3 scenario and of course 3v3 is quite different than 1v1 as well flip reset another flip reset I mean, I will say this. When you compare the clips themselves that we've already seen today, I mean, that right there was just absolutely bonkers. I mean, I, I literally have absolutely no idea how that even happened. Like, when he went up for this reset, I thought in my head, there's no way he scores this, right? Number one, it's not like he set this ball up off the wall. That's, that's off of a bounce. And then he jumps in the air, gets a reset. Now, right here, you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. How in the heck are you going to get a shot on target at this angle? Like, he, he is, he's got no momentum moving towards the net. Zero momentum right here. And then he gets that second reset, and you're like, all right, he's probably going to, like, bring it down to the ground, use a wave dash to, like, catch it and go for a dribble, a dribble flick, something, you know, that's... I could do that, but no, no. A pogo, and then he gets a perfect musty flick to the top left corner? Like... Booms it up high. His opponent's probably going to be able to touch this. Ooh, he didn't. Goes for the... Oh, oh, me. <laughs> I mean, bro. Come on now. He hasn't scored a normal shot this game, I don't think. Maybe like 1-1, one, one, and it was an open net. Every time he goes for a shot, it's like an insane shot. Here he goes again. A very high touch. No, dude. Okay, that was also close. Another thing, um, for those of you guys who have played Rock League at a pretty high level, this type of air dribble is really hard because when the ball is behind you when you're going for a, like a high air dribble touch, it, you can, it's really easy to kind of like lose your sense of like where you are. And he's able to do it effortlessly because like the camera starts like spinning almost. And he almost gets it around him there as well. Oh, here we go. I mean, brother, like, are you kidding me? Like I said, the crazy part is this is from one game. So that, that gives you a very good idea of how consistent he is with this stuff. Like, it's not like these clips are happening over the course of one ranked session. This is one single game. This is a shot where the ball bounces off the ceiling. Anyone who's ever done that can tell you when you go for a ceiling shot and the ball bounces off the ceiling, the shot is is, is scrapped, right? It's scuffed. It's very hard to get a good shot off uh, of the ceiling when the ball bounces off the ceiling so hard. But not only does he stay with it, he gets a reset and then flip cancels into another re- Like, what are you doing? You can tell that it started off as a competitive 1v1, but... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. It, he's going to do it. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're going to we're gonna need to rewind that. Um, one. And then into the backflip reset. Into the flip cancel reset. Into another flip cancel reset. Hold on. I, 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 lo I, I, was, I wasn't keeping track. That's four resets. One two three good lord oh my god 
I will say this. When you compare these two guys, now keep in mind, they're, it's on like a different playing field, right? They're, they're, uh, Zen's a little bit older, and Zen, of course, is a pro player, kind of known as, no, known as being one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world. And then you have Dark here, who I'm not, I'm not sure if he has interest in becoming pro. I hope so. With these mechanics, if he learns how to play threes, this guy could be an absolute menace. Um, but as far as freestyling goes, and as far as like shock factor, that's just insane. Uh, I, I am, my jaw is on the floor. I've never seen someone be this consistent. That's just, that's just wild, bro. I think like my my final thoughts on 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 all of this is like of course the main difference being that Zen's highlights were against the best players in the world. They they, they weren't ranked 1v1 clips against Joe Smo who's who might be top 100 in ones. They were against the best players in the world and they were also incredibly impressive clips. Maybe not as mechanical as a quadruple flip reset pogo musty, but still incredibly impressive um but then you look at dark and the fact that he got all those clips in one single game i mean that kid's got a future i i, I have no idea if he plans on going pro or if he has any intention on like learning how to play threes with a team but i personally hope that he does he's still young i'm sure he still has a lot to learn but that could be incredibly impressive to watch especially if we get to like see his growth i think he needs to like start streaming he should start posting consistent youtube content uh rank 2v2 rank 3v3 all of it because that was just just wild and of course you guys know my love for zen i think that zen uh is an absolute stand-up guy but also i think you know he's not done he may have just won the world championship in rlcs but i think he's you know there's more to come but let me know what you guys think about these two guys um this is a fun little compare and contrast video and let me know if you guys want me to do more of them because i think i want to that was just in that was insane I, I i'm still absolutely shocked at some of those shots but all right guys i'll see you in the next one have a great rest of your day subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, i'll see you in the next one all right peace